going to a a home garden guys my yellow yam have died back you can see all the foliage all dried up so that mean i'm gonna have to dig up what's in the box there in my container see what size is in there and then overwinter it to continue growing it for the next growing season it's not going to grow anymore now the weather have changed it has died back so i'm going to go in now see if it was forming any any yam aid in there any yam tuber see what's going on guys what do you think you know yellow yam take a much longer time to mature than the white yam and things like that so I don't expect any big yam or anything. I just expect like a yam seed that I'm going to store on and then continue growing next year. But you see it was running up and up and up. And now it have died back. But my tomatoes are not giving up guys. I came in here harvesting tomatoes um, yesterday. You can see some more changing colors. You can see the tomatoes just holding on. Today is the 19th of October guys. And I just have tomatoes just not giving up. I have tomatoes everywhere. I have tomatoes everywhere, guys. It's looking so good. So I'm just going to get this bucket out now. Turn it over and see what size yam seed I have that I need to harvest for next year. What do you think, guys? You think I'm going to find anything at all in there? Let's see. So I've moved the yam. From the location it was right there and now i put it right here so i'm just gonna empty it right inside here guys right in this location and see if anything so it was just there it was quite dry the area it was in quite dry everything and then i'm gonna empty it right here now and see if i can find any yam in there so i'm gonna go tilt the bucket over guys trying to avoid my chaya tea which i think it's too late for it it's looking so lovely but i don't think i'm gonna get anything from it this year it's just spreading and spreading but i need to go and examine it closely to see if i can see anything going on i get back to the yam let's tilt the bucket right here i probably can take out the sticks first and then make it easier for me so you can see it's just dry really dry let's see if i can pick it out i need a cameraman guys so okay take it out no, this one not coming hold on see if i can put the phone somewhere so let's go again should have something else to cut this guys Put all the stick out what do you think guys? I think I'm going to have a good size piece in there. So let's see what's in the bucket. If there's anything in the bucket. I think I should tilt it towards you. You have a better view that way. Let's see. Let's see if there's anything in there. Even damage my tomatoes. Let's see if there's anything, guys. Let's see. Let's see. They're just so dry. Yellow yam needs so much nutrients and water. It's best if it's in the ground, guys. If I have the option, I can put it in the ground. Like in a greenhouse or something. That would have been much better. Let's see. What size tuba? Any is in there. I can see a little piece of yam. So the eye was farming nicely. I can see that. So when I use my hand now. Wow, the yam was farming, guys. Oh, I take it down even more so you can see better. Wow, wow, guys, you can see. Hey, hey, the yam was farming there. The yam was farming, so something was happening, guys. Something was happening in the yam family. 
let's continue digging and see what size we can find in there look at they almost farming let's see if there's anything sizable to work with if it's sizable guys i'm even gonna eat it and just go another piece let's see you just need more time guys i wish our summer was way longer in the uk then we could grow so much more things there's a little yam seed oh isn't that lovely so all i have to do now is to grow this on for next year there it is guys so this is what gonna give you a nice fat juicy piece of yam next year guys the cedar form nicely wow look at the yam look at the yam seed guys look at the size wow my yam seed is perfect so all i'm gonna do now guys i'm gonna pot this up i think i'm gonna store it in the soil for next year instead of wrapping it up in newspaper some people wrap it up in newspaper and things like that and sorry for next year so i'll show you what i'm doing with it next here's my fat yam seed guys it's fat enough so i could get two slices of yam to eat this year but i'm trying to get it at least three times the size so i'm going to overwinter it in a smaller container indoor so all i'm going to do i'm going to cut off most of the branch like that that's also all of it throw this away actually i could compose it as well so what i'm doing now so i have it like this so i have to get some nice fresh compost put it in like that and this should overwinter right here nicely until springtime this should pop back up guys that's the plan i'm not gonna stop trying until i'm successful successful in getting a nice fat tuber yes i'm successful because as i say i can eat that size but i'm just gonna leave it indoor somewhere nice and warm near the radiator just cover it like that it's just some oats on, oh, my, my, my boys were feeding the chicken some oats and it got caught up in my compost so that's what that white bit is so i'm just gonna cover it like that guys that's all i'm gonna do then just press it in and then I'm going to leave it there. And then next spring, I should show you new growth of my yam. And then hopefully by the end of summer, 2023, I have a good size yam. Really good size yam. Guys, these are my yam seed that I took from Jamaica. So you can see. See, it's starting to root already guys so i'm just gonna get some container with some soil now and plant these babies up so this is a bag that we came in and just literally taking them out guys so this one have something on let's see so i think i had five or so in there there's a baby one the baby one have things on it as well so yes guys i have loads of yam seed so I have the yam that I'm growing from last year that are over winter. So I need to see if that one will sprout back up this year. Then I also have another piece of white yam that I just cut off the bottom. And I'm growing that. So I'm going to see if planting from seed or planting from the cutting to see which one sprout up first. So most of them have little growth going on. So that's nice to see that the yam started to grow before it even reaches the soil. So that's really, really good. So that's my yam seed guy. Oh, there's a mango in the background. <laughs> so I'm going to plant these up now, guys. I'm going to look at a container with some dirt and then show you what else I'm doing. There's some like a white root I saw on it earlier. Let me see if I can find it back. One had like a white root or something on it, but... Yep, I'm gonna find some container now and put these babies in. Here we are in the goat tent, guys. I just locate a pot. So I'm just reusing some soil. So this is nice and loose. Actually, I see like something growing. That's a pumpkin that grow already. 
put him somewhere else and can continue growing so I'm just gonna dig a hole right here I'm gonna put in one per pot guys one per pot so this one is the one is a bit because of the light you can't see it properly but this is the biggest one that's sprouting right there so I'm just gonna put it like that that's it I'm not even going to put it far I put some more dirt on top and that's it so that's one of my yam for the season that's a harvest straight from Jamaica and the other yam is over there the white yam that I plant and then the one over winter when it's there so hopefully by late spring I, push, I should show you if this one survive or not and then these two should be springing up in no time that's it guys today is the 10th of April 2023 I'm gonna see if there's anything under the yam. Did the yam survive the winter, guys? Let's see if the yam did survive. So I'm just gonna dig in here now and have a look. So no, the yam seed developed nicely over winter, over the summer, I should say. Then I try to overwinter it. Let's see if there's if the yam seed is still there and if it's starting to grow because I need to get my yam on the way now. Okay, so break that bit off. Let's dig and see, guys. Hopefully, the yam seed at, at least is there. I don't see no shoots coming up. I don't see. Let's see what's going on there. Uh, doesn't seem like a survive, guys. There it is. So I probably should have wrapped it in newspaper so that's my mistake guys i don't think you overwinter properly i should have wrapped it in newspaper instead of trying to overwinter it in the ground that definitely did not work but guys i'm not gonna stop trying because this year i got a good size so all i'm gonna do now is to put another yam seed in there so i'm gonna put this yam seed in there you can see this bit starting to grow so next time i'll definitely leave it from all the soil and just wrap it in newspaper and hopefully that way it will overwinter properly so it didn't work this guy it didn't work the overwinter part did not work but let's see if we can get some nice yam this year so that's it guys until next time keep gardening take care now bye bye like share subscribe and click the notification bell